uh, hi everyone so today I would like to um, discuss about the chapter number two uh, subtopic on the multimedia feature direction so for this particular um, subtopic basically we will talk about uh, some contents about it so firstly about the processes um, display including 3d TV free viewpoint TV and then we talk about nano computing computing without keyboards and wearable computer and future devices okay now uh, this is the word came from uh, the um, uh, founder of Apple so people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are ah, okay the one who did it so basically he said uh, this quote from um, I think during the time he is uh, he was joining the, the, the Apple okay okay speaking about the uh, second second subtopic is uh, the processing of the CPUs in terms of the computing so we can see that the um, computer has been uh, started approximately before 1975 okay so there we can um, see that the uh, the demand of uh, 10 to the to the end power has been used up to 10 uh, ar around this corner 10 to uh, 0 to 1 power at that particular time so we take a look at the uh, uh, the, ch the changes happened in 1980s so basically the the uh, things that related to the tau uh, the uh, transistor that been used parallel uh, processing performance sequential process uh, referred to the blue line green while the frequency and the um, this color is typical power required which are uh, demanding from this uh, central processing units while this one is numbering of core so we can take a look from here until up to 2005 is kind of uh, equal in terms of number of core but Basically, the numbers of transistor is rising up from 2000, from from 1975 to 2010. So yeah, so this is the the trend that we take a look the uh, whereby the usage of the transistor in thousand is basically rising up by yeah 10 to the power of n. Okay, so we can see that the the reason we are uh, using utilizing this this particular process unit that the higher um, demand of the uh, transistor uh, uh, amount in thousands okay so in calculation or what we call it in the processing unit we what we what we have in our um, in and now now on is two types so one is a central processing unit while the other types is graphical processing unit okay so the first uh, process unit has been uh, pre uh, proposed by human is central process unit whereby the, the CPU is basically the brain of the computer itself. So when we talk about the uh, what is the computer, computer basically set by CPU, controlled by, uh, is, is helped by the memory of RAM and ROM and so on and so forth. So then, uh, things are related to the, um, uh, how to say, when the loops calculation coming in to the processing line, so basically, the, the, uh, then then the, the the existing of um, GPU, what we call it graphical processing unit, is is coming in uh, approximately 1999. So then, the job for this particular GPU is basically dedicated for the thing that has been repeated again and again and again, kind of, um, how to say, uh, to, to visualizing. Uh, the high performance of graphical that whereby we we can easily uh, see that the high GPU the higher spec of uh, computer has been used for GPU is happened in gaming uh, sector of field right so that would be the thing so obviously uh, having a GPU that that would be a more creativity that we have uh, in terms of art emotion and visual attention whereby we can call it uh, in in the uh, IR 4.0 um, paradigm okay speaking of the computing power um this is one example for the uh tiny uh, the smallest hard disk uh i think that particular time 0 0.85 inch devices with a capacity of 4g uh, 4gb capacity of storage so you just imagine that the this will be the thumb 
size of our thumb print so that would be at that particular time could be considered as a small one so this is the super intelligent system whereby uh, this would be the kind of intelligent spoon we can say so the spoon having the pH sensor temp temperature sensor senility sensor sensor for viscosity uh, whereby viscosity is the how to say uh, kecerahan minyak kind of and on off button so whereby when when we put some liquid or uh, uh, substance in that particular spoon so we can we can detect that the, the what it, what is the pH of the particular spoon uh, viscosity level and temperature and so on and so forth okay also lately the, the demand of genetic and evolutionary computing has been uh, comes in knocking the door of the uh, comp computational processing unit so whereby that that could be kind of a new era whereby the computer itself could be have the uh, the their own DNA kind of yeah, whereby we, we can talk about the genetic kind of things uh, so speaking of that the we we also heard about one of the uh, Europe country happened to um, guess that all the citizen of that particular country would be uh, sorry would be embedded the the, the chip on uh, under the knees of their hands or their arms so basically it could be intangible interchangeable of the uh, what we call it in our a country what we call it, uh, Malaysian ID right so that would be kind of new things so computing without keyboard I think uh, recently it happening uh, whereby we can even we, we don't even have to type it but we just say it okay means speech to text kind of uh, sub particular era uh, field and computing without keyboard also uh, whereby uh, we can sketch them uh, say that we have a board we sketch the things that we wanted to to fill into the uh, computer as 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 computer can be read it so we can sketch it uh, then then the, the the input devices will be uh, detecting all the things that has been sketched and be written by us in order to 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 make uh, compu compu uh, computer understand what what we want to write and we want to convey to the other person okay laser projection we have discussed about this in early uh, our chapter one so basically that would be um, a light of uh, has been projected to the uh, hard surface so basically we will press the surface and the surface will be reacting that we reach to the some particular area for example Q we press the Q so our 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 finger will be turning to the queue area kind of and it will detect that, that we press the queue button okay. so web 4.0 I think that would be common for everyone so everybody gets so much information all this long that they lose their common sense so that would be kind of things that to be considered right now so people are seeking for many informations uh, in their life so they want to know about everything about politics about weather about uh, stock exchange about the um, in the demon about the viral so on and so on, but but some somehow the people are losing the common sense yeah so that will be happening right now pervasive computing uh, allow connectivity anytime anywhere so they kind of happen in anywhere anytime and any location that we are located flexible screen is a display which is flexible in nature and differentiable from the more prevalent traditional a flat one what we call it LCD LED the one that we have uh, currently I'm using the LED screen right now so I think this uh, screen has been um, how to say marketed by 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 one of the production uh, electronic production company uh, located from Korea I think uh, then I, I wouldn't say the, the company name over here so the 3D TV I think that would be um, 3D would be uh, is it was happening um, I think even even 10 years back when when we go to the uh, cinema we we are given a I think a kind of uh, plastic glasses to wear to to wear on on our on our eyes so before we go to the scene of the 3D like Avatar and how to say I I have experience with when when uh, Shrek Shrek 3D if I'm not mistaken so it can feel that the the things like eyes or something like that is happening like we can touch them in front of us in real kind of okay so auto stereoscopic 
a stereoscopic display so whereby this will be implementing in in this uh, in va various of game platform so 3d display i think this will be kind of happen in in recent in recent uh, technology as we we did uh see this technology happen in star wars and star trek and so on so it it, it is is invented uh, i think recently to to be product for for public user so motion control is happening right now whereby uh in fact of the ai and machine learning so this would be um accelerate this particular field to be to be uh to to move the motion controller um uh, feel become faster so motion controller is whereby we can see the example i think early of 2000 year so uh the the a movie by this guy is tom cruise isn't it so in in minority report okay wearable computing uh i think most of us has been seen it before in i think okay uh widely in in, in movies especially so we could also seen this thing happen in 1990s even in mid 90s uh early of 1990s and lately we can heard and we can we can realize that apple and uh google and huawei is is uh marketing their own uh, glasses right wearable so whereby we can see uh the everything happen in our cell phone uh by by only uh wearing the glass on our eyes okay so smartwatch i think this will be um kind of normal generic lately so augmented reality ar is is i think is happening right now uh and even it it has been used in in one of the uh famous uh uh what do you call it um movie uh hollywood movie we call it iron man so google glass okay happen happened uh to to be categorized as wearable uh, devices so this one is the next gen with uh, vr whereby everything is is can be controlled uh then we we are allowed to be in the game in real and could feel many senses like what we call it uh like uh, like the water the, the the dropping water kind of example could be realized in 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 with 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 wearing the um virtual reality glasses so this one is natural human computing so this i think is happening uh when we are designing one model so i think i talk about the how to say what what what, what was that mauna uh one one film from hollywood company so before they design uh one character of um 3d character so basically they would make an object uh whereby the object has a specific size between the length of eyes eyes to nose eyes to mouth and so on and so forth so then they portray it by the point of cloud so that would be the things if in pointing the face into the cloud so we have the middle of this images point of cloud and they will be fixing the shading the uh, color of the skin and the tone and so on by having the right hand side of the um, images this slide surface computing i think that would be uh, happening in in nasa i think uh, gesture control armband it would be controlling uh happen to 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 read all the uh, movement of our arm uh especially the muscle embedded uh in in in, the, uh, in our hand okay so 3d printing is, is the devices so the the impact of the 3d printing uh revolu revolutionizing the classroom happen whereby uh especially in when we talk about the medical uh, perspective so we can easily teach and deliver a good kind of um uh class session by explaining the fact using the truly 3d models so example biology biology student uh is learning the heart so so we can we can we can print it the heart and show by real to the student who are attending the class right so that would be kind of things so once elbow as i said it has become appealing obvious that our technology has exceed our humanity so that would be debatable 
yeah so some thoughts uh, agree with this uh, quotes and some sort uh, kind of 50 50 and some some others uh, disagree about this thought so yeah which one is which so I feel that the day that technology will surpass our human interaction the world will have a generation of yes I D I O T S so that would be has uh, said by Albert Einstein so yeah so I think that's all for the uh, end of chapter number two okay thank you so much and bye Okay, thank you guys for watching NMZH's channel. Hopefully, you can get um, knowledge and benefit from the videos. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.